Holy crap, it's running! Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In today's video, I'll be attempting trying to make a turbo spool, stuff like that, like a turbo charger car, and it has a turbo spool. Uh, basically, I'm trying to make a turbo thingy, but hopefully it goes well, and yeah, that's Scratch today's project. Hey, the first P has completed. Oh my gosh, this looks so beautiful, man. Can't wait for the final project. Hopefully, it will come together well as I thought. Oh, look at all the support breaking. That is so nice. Okay, okay, time to do more pieces. Another piece done. Oh yeah, support came right off. And over here at the end of 3v3, it's a little stringy, but it's fine. Made all the components. Let's go. This is exciting. Okay, so let's assemble this. This is pretty much all of the things that we needed. I was test print this and did not do the whole then I realized that I need to make the hole so that this thing can spin so I made this something like this I'm gonna drill the hole and then do some heat insert to make the holes then connect this with some screw this is gonna be attaching to these four holes right here which you will see in the process I'll be doing right now oh yeah you need a ball bearing I forgot to press record but <laughs> got all four heat insert insert in there now we can mount this here now like that not the best but hopefully it works got some m3 16 here There we go. Now the machine start running. <laughs> okay, that is solid. Put this mounted here. That's gonna require M3 times six. I think that's dirty enough. There we go. We got it. And it still spins freely. We put this through here like that so that it spins freely oh this is so exciting oh my gosh the middle hole here okay so i got everything kind of set up right now put this gear in here like so smash it in there like that it's not the best clearance to be honest the base the side these screw cap to screw this in. I really love this style of um, screwing. It requires no additional hardware except 3D printing. Okay, that should be secure. I have one over here too, but I don't think I'm gonna do that one. Okay, now I got my um, power gearbox here. <laughs> I love this thing. Okay, so what I was planning is putting here and then mashing the gears together so that they can spin like this. Plugging this in. Let's turn this on and see what happened? Maybe it needs like a push start. It's spinning. Full power. Hey, there we go. Oh gosh, that was scary. I'm not quite sure why it's not spinning. No, fail. That is so scary, man. It's not that hard to spin, though. But for the motor, I think it's quite hard for the motor to spin. Yeah, there we go. <gasps> there we go. It's meshing well together now. Kind of. Nope, I guess this might be a failed project. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy that this thing's gonna spin, but. It did not spin. There we go. There we go, spinning. But it's stopping. There, there is one coming out, but it's just not 
spinning. I think the Clarence that has to be played with. It keeps moving, and the Clarence is a big problem. What what a fail project! And as you can see, there's a bear in there, but I don't think the bear is doing anything. I I'm not so sure how to put the bear in so that when this thing spins, it spins the gear and the bearing actually spins because this is basically just the bearing is basically stuck in there <laughs> i need to fix that i don't know how to do that i've been trying to um work with bearings for like a couple days now and i can't figure out how to make it so that this outer spins yeah okay so what i did is um swap this one out with a different one and remove this cover so that it doesn't tug and has more clearance so hopefully this time it works without <gasps> look at that i don't need to start it it just won whoa look at that of course it's not stable but it runs oh my gosh i can feel the wind i full power right now I'm gonna press down here. Holy crap, it's running! It's running so fast! Oh my god. Look at that. Ah, that's so scary. I need. <laughs> okay, I think I need a screw here and here to make this as stable as possible. But it's actually running. It's running without, oh, I guess it needs a kickstart, but as soon as it does that, it runs. I just need to hold this down so that it's stable. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Gosh. It's so fun when things work. Keep grinding it. Uh, well, well, I guess that's it with this teeny tiny project. Um, I would definitely improve on this. Let me know in the comments down below how would I go about and fix the bearing because this <laughs> is not running on any bearings. I do have a bearing in there, but the bearing is basically stuck to the turbine wheel thingy. And I can't get the bearing to spin. I don't know how to do that. I've been trying a couple ways, but I can't figure out how to do that. So let me know in the comments down below if there's a way I can do uh, this thing spin and make it spin on the bearing itself. For the next update on this and project, thank you to all my Patreon members for supporting this channel. And, project. and as always, keep on 3D printing.